Welcome to the Quick Pro Camera Guide for the Nikon D300. This camera is amazing and we hope you'll enjoy learning more about it with this DVD. We trust that you'll find this tutorial helpful and informative. This guide is meant to be a study tool to be used in connection with and not a replacement of your camera's owner's manual. Press the menu button at any time to return to the main menu and feel free to use the forward and back buttons on your DVD remote to find a particular chapter. The functions and features of the D300 that we cover are designed to give you a solid working knowledge of your camera. Our goal is to not only explain how to adjust the settings on your camera, but also help you understand when and why you would be motivated to take creative control of your camera. It's really not possible to cover every possible configuration on your camera, but we will provide you a solid foundation on the basics of digital photography. Let's begin with a quick overview of the major parts of a digital SLR camera. The first item is the lens. The lens magnifies and focuses an image. It also controls how much or how little light will enter the camera. The second element is the shutter. The shutter assembly reflects the image into the viewfinder. When you press the shutter button, the shutter opens for a very precise period of time to expose the image sensor to the focused image. The third component is the image sensor. The image sensor is a silicon chip that is exposed to the image much like film in older cameras. It records the image precisely so it can be converted into a digital file for storage on a memory card. The memory card is used to store your images until they're archived onto a computer hard drive or burned onto a CD or DVD. Remember, it might be convenient to use multiple memory cards. When one card is full, you can simply insert a new card and continue shooting pictures. You can use memory cards to store images either permanently or temporarily, but the least expensive way to archive your images is to save them onto a CD or hard drive on your computer. The Nikon D300 employs the 12.3 effective megapixel CMOS imaging sensor. The number of megapixels determines the size and quality of prints you can make. With an image sensor this large, you'll be able to make high quality prints of at least 16 by 20 when shooting with the camera's highest resolution. Whether you print your pictures or view them digitally, with some patience and practice in applying the concepts in this tutorial, you'll be able to create and capture the best pictures possible. 